Today we are back at our Home on the Ranch project. You may have seen this home in our show, Dream Home Makeover on Netflix. We designed this home with Hebden Studios, who did the architecture, and Everlast Homes did the build. It's a beautiful project. We shared lots of the main spaces with you on the show, but today we're moving upstairs to a few never before seen rooms, all the kids' spaces. I'm going to start with the boys' bedrooms. The first is our client's oldest son, and he will be leaving the nest soon. We really wanted to tie in some of the elevated farmhouse details that we did throughout the entire home, but do this in an elevated way. So we did board and batten, and instead of painting it, we stained it, and we selected a wood that had the knots visible. It gives this really great rustic vibe to the room, and then allowed us to layer in great linen textures, hints of red, black, gray, and then we have little details like this basketball artwork on the wall, and then he loves the coast, and the lamp on the dresser actually has this wave pattern all over the base of the lamp. You know, when you have like wood on the walls and it's a stain, it's kind of hard to mix wood tones. So we decided to go with this modern whitewash dresser. I love that it doesn't have any hardware on it. It's integrated in the dresser for a more modern look. And then when you look next to the dresser, you get a peek of the bathroom. We had a lot of wood on the walls of the bedroom, and so we didn't want to do anything too matchy-matchy. So we went with a really warm stain on the vanity and quite a bit darker. And I love the warmth of the wood tied with this gray stone on the floors. In the next boys' bedroom, we wanted to keep some continuity by doing a paneling on the lower part of the walls. But this time, we decided to paint it a dark navy blue-gray color. I love that this allows us to add some depth, but we still have white on the top part and the ceiling to keep it feeling light. And it sets a really good backdrop for incorporating orange, which is our client's son's favorite color. The bed in here is awesome. It's a wood frame, but then it has these leather loops that hang a cushion on the back bed frame. And then we have this great throw that ties in all the colors from the space at the foot of the bed. Our clients' girls' bedrooms are connected by a Jack and Jill bathroom in the center. The first bedroom is set off by this beautiful fawn velvet headboard. You guys know that I have this curved back sofa in my living room. Well, we did the same fabric on this bed, and I love that it has this really great plush feel and was great for layering textural bedding with crochet details, little mauve pillows, it's so cute and then allows us to incorporate things like this funky modern chandelier. In this space, you'll see that we ended up with a dresser below a window. And I think just don't be afraid if the layout of your room doesn't allow for a mirror above a dresser. Place it under a window, it'll be okay style above it and then use a mirror somewhere else in the room. I really love that this coordinates with the arches from the hallway in the main space downstairs. One of my favorite views in this entire home is the one looking from one girl's bedroom down the Jack and Jill bathroom to the other. We have this really great mosaic tile on the floors. It has this little gray dot in it. And we did a wood cabinet, which warms up the space, ties in with the other wood tones we've used throughout the entire home. And then we did a huge wall-to-wall -wall mirror and then mounted the sconces on top of the mirror, which has this great playful modern effect, but I think the brass keeps it feminine and it's just so cute last bedroom in the home. This bedroom is so sweet. We have wallpaper on the walls. It has this great kind of organic abstract pattern throughout that's 
a blush pink, and then we did this curved woven headboard that really is the star of the whole bedroom. And we layered vintage pillows, this textural kind of ruffled linen bedding, and then we have tassels and embroidery and velvet. We have all of the girly things in here, scallops, gold details. I think it comes together in a really great way that will grow up well with her through the years. This is our very last webisode from our Home on the Ranch tour. So soak it in, go back, watch the previous episodes, or head to our blog to see the photo tours. There's so much to see in this beautiful home, and I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>